what we're now going to do is fit on the cortex so we're going to save this now and our last task is to place the cortex so we can locate this in the logic folder so we're going to select the cortex open this one up we're going to bring in one cortex and again now with the options nice and clear to us our first constraint will be to mate the underside of the cortex to the top of the chassis which as you can see allows that to free move we're just going to rotate this now so we're just going to rotate this round now what we're now going to do is constrain one of the inside edges here to run along one of the inside edges uh, on this hole here this will now lock our cortex to have just one position of movement left last but not least we'll choose one of the eye mates from the chassis just to snap that into place and we now have the cortex in position now rotate our model around and see what we've built with the cortex in place what we now need to do is fit some screws we're now going to choose place locate from the structure the uh, longer screws which are 0.75 of an inch long and we're just going to place four of these and we're also going to bring in the, the kept nuts and we're going to again bring in four of these as well this time what we're going to do again just to repeat the process we're going to use the insert option the underside edge of the screw and the center to fit in there click OK and we can do this for each of the four screws so again repeat this process time and time again as you can see they should now locate to the bar that we fitted across there as well so let's use constrain insert rotate the model around so we can see the cortex properly make sure we make those screws flush constrain insert like so okay now when we rotate the model over all we need to do is fit our uh, nuts in place and we can see the screws protruding up so again what we're going to do constrain we're going to choose the insert option this time we're going to choose the underside of the nut and the center and we're going to choose to fit that to the top edge of the screw and what we're going to do is we're going to create an offset so minus 13 and that will position the, the nuts in place so again let's constrain insert and repeat that process the underside of the screw and the center to locate to the top of the screw with an offset of minus 13 and select OK and all we're going to do now is just rotate the whole tumbler around zoom in and zoom out again We'll just bring these nuts slightly closer to where we're fitting them. Like so. And then again, constrain, insert the underside of the nut to the top of the screw and an offset of minus 13 millimeters. So that's okay. Our last one here, constrain insert the underside of the screw, uh, underside of the nut and we're now going to fit that to the top of the screw an offset of minus 30 millimeters and we select OK and those nuts and screws are now in place to hold the cortex in position we can see the finished cortex sitting atop of the VEX tumbler what we can do now is attempt to fit some of the sensors and uh, the battery 
and now adapt our robot depending on what kind of sensing ability we want to create.